All right, guys, today we're going to be changing the fuel filter on a Mercury XR6, which is a 152 stroke outboard. Um, the fuel filter is right here, tailed on by zip ties, as you can see right here. Um, it appears it has been leaking a little bit. So let's get this started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is just cut the zip ties off. I just grabbed a pair of my fishing scissors trying to do this one-handed and you see it snaps pretty easily I'm not going to put zip ties back on it I'm going to use hose clamps if I can get this top one this top one's way back up in there behind the um, the uh, oil reservoir all right as you can see i've already got the zip ties off i had to go off camera to get the other one because i needed both hands to do it when you go to pull hold on okay when you when you remove this from the filter it's going to leak leak gasoline um that's just going to happen or not not what I expected, but the top one I'm going to have to uh, have both hands for, so give me one second. Top one's a real pain on this one, which makes no sense because the bottom one just popped off. It probably gets a little hotter where it's at. There we go. And it does not, it's pretty dirty. I don't, there's no telling how long this has been on this motor. This is a 2005, but I'll tear it apart later just to see what it looks like inside. But I went on Amazon, got a new factory replacement. It's pretty simple. It tells you which way it needs to go. Let's put the zip tie on. Like I said, I went with uh, hose clamps instead of zip ties. So I don't want no leaks. I don't understand why they put zip ties on it to begin with, but cost savings most likely. Let's see, this will probably be easier doing it this way. Snug it on in there. Get our screwdriver, tighten this hose clamp down. All right, it's on there pretty good. Feed it back through. Slide your other one up. Don't tighten it down too tight because you'll end up cracking the plastic on the um, fuel filter. And that's it. Most of uh, your outboards will be this way. Some have a water fuel separator, but it wouldn't be located back here. It'd be on the actual hull or the boat itself. And that's it.
have any questions, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.